Hey guys, so today we're going to be breaking down the new update for this week, at least the stuff that we know right now. The game is currently in a 10 hour maintenance. Um, and uh, this is lo looking like it's going to be a pretty big update here. Obviously, we're getting the new battle system, we're getting a new Zenkai. We're actually getting two new Zenkais. We're getting a uh, Zenkai, as you guys know, for the future Gohan, the green transforming one. And we're also getting one for the EX Android 18, the green one from like back in like the earth like the like the first few months of the game coming out so we're getting that we're getting a bunch of equipment and uh yeah we have a lot to cover today so let's just go ahead and get right into this now because the game is actually in uh, full maintenance we cannot go into the actual game itself to see this so we're going to be relying a lot on twitter for the info here which means we're probably going to be missing a few pieces of info here but this is the best we got for now um, I actually also could not find info on the green EX-18, so I'll probably end up just going quickly over what she's able to do in her showcase video at the beginning. But let's start with Future Gohan here. Obviously, he's a transforming character, so he's going to have a bunch of different uh, things to talk about here. So, um, actually, you know what I should do is I should probably pull up his pre-Zenkai state so that we can sort of compare how he looks to post-Zenkai. Where is he? Here he is. All right, so here we go with Future Gohan. Let's put him over here. So this is his base form. So it used to be the main ability. Let me make this a little bigger. Transform into Super Saiyan, restores key by 30, and then it's 10 timer counts. Now it's, oops, what did I do here? Here we go. Now it's restores key by 40, and it gives him a card, one level of card draw speed for 15 counts. So obviously it's way better. <laughs> that, that is a pretty big buff. I mean, just 15 counts of card draw speed is not like insanely good, but Key, like 40 key plus card draw speed, like that, that's not bad at all. Um, same requirements for the counts. Passive one. Okay, so let's pull, this is what it used to be. Applies the flying effects itself when this character enters the battlefield. 40% of blast damage inflicted for 15 counts, minus five to blast cost for 15 counts. And then 40% to key recovery. So 40% blast, five, and then, um, so okay, so these, these 30s jump up to 40. That's pretty much what, what happened there. Okay, not not horrible. Second passive applies the falling effect self per defeated battle member when this character enters the battlefield. Uh, heals by 5%, 20% damage inflicted, and then reduces damage received by 10%. Cannot be canceled. Effects reset when characters switch. 30% um, of damage inflicted when allied character trunks is defeated. Applies the flying effects self when enemy switches characters with the character on the battlefield, 30 key, and then 15% to blast damage inflicted for 15 timer counts. So let me just quickly see here. So 20% damage inflicted per defeated battle member, that's the same. Uh, yeah. So he gains the extra heal and the damage reduction per defeated battle member. That was not on this kit prior to this. 30% damage when Trunks is defeated, that is the same. Um, and then he gets 30 key and 50% blast damage when the enemy switches. Yeah, that is also the same. Okay. So it looks like he's going to be getting the majority of his damage buffs from when allies are defeated. I mean, eh. do I even really want to say majority? He's only getting, f if he's a last man standing, he's getting 40% damage inflicted. And then what is that? 20% reduced damage received. One thing to keep in mind, which we actually can't see right now, is that because this is a transforming Zenkai character, his stats are probably going to be pretty insane. <laughs> so every little tiny buff I think is going to help this guy. Let's continue here. Um, oh yeah, but yeah, keep in mind this is before he gets, uh, he, this is before he's transformed. All right, passive three applies the flying effects self from battle front until transformation. Oh, until transformation. Okay, so this is just uh, prior to transforming. 40% damage and then 30% reduced damage received. Falling effects occur upon landing a strike or blast arts hit. He gains five key, minus two to own car arts cost for 10 counts. And then he gives uh, all enemies with 10% damage received for 10 counts. That's actually pretty good. Uh, and then it inflicts all enemies with minus 10% health restoration for 10 counts. Blue card. So the blue card is now major impact damage, 20% to blast damage received. Uh, that is the exact same. That did not change at all. Okay, interesting. Uh, the green card is 20% of blast damage for 15 counts. And then... I gotta go to the next post. Hold on. 
So this, okay, so it went up from 15 to 20. I guess it's fine, whatever. And then, oh, do we not have the, <laughs> we don't have the end, no. We don't have the end of it. Uh, I assume it's probably gonna be the, pretty much the same. Force switch on hit, inflicts enemy that should be downgrade plus five to sub count for 15 counts. I think the only thing they probably will add to this is, is blast armor, right? You don't really ever see charging forward greens or blues in the current day without blast armor. So I assume that's what they're, what, what they're gonna add here, but we don't have the info here for whatever reason. So that's the base version. Let's take a look at the transformed version here. I assume it's not gonna be that much different, but let's go ahead and click this button here and we'll see what he's able to do when he's transformed. Okay, so the main ability is the final stand, draws a special arts card next, nullify his own unfavorable element factor for 30 counts, and then he gets card draw speed by one level for 15 timer counts. You need 10 counts for uh, you to use that. So he actually force draws a, a green card when he uses this now. Uh, 30 counts, 15 card draw speed, and then yeah, the canceling attribute downgrades and abnormal conditions is also new. So him drawing a, a green card and then also getting this cancels uh, downgrades is new. That's that's pretty much it. I mean, four strong green card is actually not the worst because his green card can be pretty powerful and increases your sub count by a lot. Um, all right, so the first passive, again, I don't think there's going to be much different here. Let's see. All right. 30% uh, damage against tag androids. What about if you, I mean, that is a good passive to have right now because of the uh, tag androids, but uh, on a character like this, uh, we'll, we'll, we'll see. We'll see. Why does the following effect self when this character enters the battlefield? 40% blast damage. Yeah, this is the same as it was prior to transforming. So that went up by, uh, again, 10% here, 10% here. Um, and then the next unique ability. Uh, looks like it's also the same 5%, 20% damage inflicted, 10% reduced damage received per defeated battle member. Then you get 10% damage for trunks being defeated. Um, and then when the enemy switches, when this character on the battlefield, he gets 30 key, 15% blast damage, 50% vanish gauge recovery. Okay. That, uh, that could be good. Only activates once. Yeah, obviously didn't have this prior to Zenkai. That's a pretty pretty nice inclusion here. Would have much preferred if it was more than one time only. <laughs> Would be that'd be pretty nice, but I guess I'll take this. Um, and then if we go to this again, this is the same. Oh, actually, it's, he gets what is a strike damage? I don't believe he got this in base form. I think this is new. Uh, self after transforming, yeah, fifteen percent of strike damage inflicted. Okay. Uh, reduces damage received by thirty percent. Okay. And then this is the same as pre-transformation. Okay, so if we add up his damage, so he's getting 40% from here. And then he's getting... That's pretty much... That, that's his baseline. That's... I wouldn't really call that great. Um, if he's the last man standing, he's getting that 40%. Plus he's getting 40% from here, from him, you know, the two dead allies existing. Then he's getting an extra 30% of one of those allies that died was a trunk. So he's at like, what, 110%? And then uh, if the enemy switches character, she's getting an extra 15% blast damage. Uh, I mean, it's sort of semi-reliant on, uh, on his stats, but I assume because he's a transforming Zenkai character, his stats will be very good. But I think even still, he's not gonna be holding up to like the main you know, units you're going to be seeing in PvP. There's this last post here. Transform blue card. Let's just pull this up so we can take a look here. Major impact damage. Inflicts enemy. That should be downgrade. Plus 20% to blast damage received for 15 timer counts on hit. Uh, okay, so he actually gains 30% to special move damage for 3 counts. That's pretty good. There's a little, a little bit of extra damage there. And then he also retains this. It's actually not a bad, uh, not a bad effect. It's not bad. Uh, transformed green card, 15% blast damage, I, that goes up to 20, right? Yeah, 20% for 20 counts, okay. Force switch on hit. Um, inflicts enemy that should downgrade, plus 10 to sub count for 15 counts, then reduces enemy key by 30, and yeah, it gains blast armor, okay. So, him reducing the key is new, that's good. Um, plus 10 to sub count for 15 counts, that's the same. So basically this gains blast armor and reduces enemy key, which is fine. And it gains a bit of extra blast damage. Again, I think this, this green card could actually be pretty good. 
10 to sub count is pretty annoying. Like that, that is a massive hindrance for sure. So uh, yeah. And then the Zenkai ability buffs green future, pretty obvious that it would do that. But that's another Zenkai buff for the new green trunks. It's a Zenkai buff for like green rose. Um, and that's it. Like Goku Black and Zamasu, I guess we're also getting that as well, but I don't really, <laughs> really know how much they're going to benefit. But yeah, that's the Zenkai future Gohan. Um, next, we have some new equipment. We have this Bulma unique equipment here. So this is interesting because up until this point, you know, throughout the anniversary, we've seen like this sort of similar uh, formula that they've used for uh, uh, sort of like these raid specific unique equipments. This one seems to be a little bit different though, because for the, remember, for the ones that we got during the anniversary, it was, I believe it was just plus one uh, to the metal drops per slot. So the equipment itself would only give three extra metal drops. This one actually has, uh, you know, a chance to give you more. There's actually slots where you can roll because the ones for the anniversary only had one, you know, option for each slot. This one has, it looks like it's two options for the first slot. Uh, three options for the second slot and then three for the uh, third slot. So you can actually get up to 15 <laughs> 15 extra raid medals from uh, rolling this to the you know, the, the perfect slots for each roll I Don't know how hard it's gonna be to roll these. I don't really really want to think about it to be honest, but I, I think it's fine to have the option to, to be able to do this because again if you compare this to the um, anniversary raids the equipment for those the max you could get was three extra metal drops. The minimum you could get on this one is what, five? Because you get three, one, one here. So you're getting at least five, um, you know, from one of the, from literally just rolling the equipment normally and getting the worst roll for each slot. But you can get up to 15. So I, th I think this is fine. Like people, people, I think people are definitely gonna complain about this because it's like, oh my God, they're making you re-roll for the specific raid equipment. Well, you don't have to. <laughs> You don't have to re-roll for that. All it means is you're going to be doing it more, right? And and when you compare this to the anniversary one that we got, this is better because you on the lowest rolls, you're getting more medals than you were during the anniversary. I guess the only thing we'll have to wait and see is uh, how the pricing of the shop is going to be. Like are they, uh, because of this metal, because of this um, equipment coming out, are they going to jack up the prices? Like well, that that will determine how good this is. But yeah, we're getting another raid, and obviously this is going to help out with the drops there. All right, so next we got some normal equipment. We have this one. Looks like it's going to be extreme and girls, obviously meant for the um, the EX Green 18. By the way, that Green EX 18, I don't know if you guys were playing back when she released. Again, very, very early on in the game's lifespan. She was like one of the best units in the game. She was one of the only characters in the game that actually could directly com uh, combat Blue Broly. Blue Broly back then was so dominant. Like, it was crazy. Um... And sh th this Android 18 being a green character, uh, she was an extreme. Like extremes back in the day were actually really good. Um, she could actually hold her own against most of the game. She was actually able to heal with her green card. Like she, she was good. So we'll see what they do here. But this equipment is up to 13% of special move damage. Slot two gives 23% strike and blast. Okay. And then slot three is both 10% damage to Saiyans and Super Saiyans. Okay. So. She might be doing a lot of extra damage to like Blue Bardock, I guess. <laughs> um, interesting. And obviously like, you know, this is supposed to be like the the 18 that fought uh, like uh, Super Saiyan Vegeta, right? When he, she broke uh, his arm. So that makes sense. Next we have this future one. So this is a very, very, um, ex I guess a wide variety of characters can use this one for future, just any future character, which is like half the game at this point because they just can't stop buffing the tag. Uh, slot 1 is special move damage up to 10%, base blast up to 15 and then base health up to 10%. Now, is this a crazy, crazy good equipment? No. But it's, it's a solid option. Again, I think any equipment that has HP on it can be useful. Um, blast to 15, special move damage to 10, not bad. It, it's definitely like not top tier, but you know, for as, as like a mid-level option for equipment, this is not a bad, but bad one to just throw on a future character if you're running um, maybe you're somebody who doesn't really invest much into future equipment. If you just pick this up and you manage to get like an S or something, then this, this could help out, I guess. Uh, okay. So now we have a unique equipment, uh, probably not for a character that you would have thought it is for LF full power Jiren. So LF full power Jiren is getting a unique equipment. I actually have not looked at this yet, 
Um, all I know is that he's getting one. I have not looked at what it does yet. So we are going to experience this together for the first time. I think there's definitely options for characters that could have used this more than Jiren, but I'm actually not, um, I'm not opposed to Jiren getting this because Jiren is on a lot of teams that don't really have many like viable like setups right now, right? We could, we could take a look at Jiren here, right? Jiren is on basically his two teams, or I guess you could even say three teams, powerful opponent, rival universe and universe rival saga. Uh, I think even with the anniversary really focusing a lot on universe survival saga for the first part, the team's still not that good. Like, when do you ever see that team in PvP? I know I almost never see it. Powerful Opponent has definitely fallen off, and then Rival Universe doesn't exist, <laughs> right? So I think Jiren actually becoming a nice option to use right now could be really helpful for the Rival Universe team and the Powerful Opponent team. So let's see what they did here. So here we go. Slot one, health restoration uh, of 20%. Strike defense and blast defense to 35. Okay, a lot. That's okay. Uh, okay, slot two is base HP up to 15%. And then more defense. Hmm. Damn, that's a lot of defense. So what, what's 70%? He's getting 70% to base strike and blast defense. Not only is that a lot of defense, he's also getting 20% to health restoration and 15% to HP. That is, that's actually exactly what he needed. I feel like this Jiren, one of the biggest issues that I've had with him is that he just feels really, really, really squishy. What is his dam reduced damage received? For, yeah, this, this, this is exactly why. If you honestly, if you have anything under 60% reduced damage received, you are not going to be able to tank at all. And the, the, the insane thing about this character is the, didn't this guy come out in like February? I think I think he literally released in February. Let me see if I could pull up his banner here so that I can show you guys what I'm talking about. This Jiren is he's like just about six months old, six months old here he is legends powerful opponent this is his banner oh no 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 sorry that's not it it was what, what was like like the full might or something was his banner i think that, yeah the full might where's the actual step up version of this um let's see is it more down here here we go legend step up the full might when did this actually come out um because this guy is not old this guy is so let's just think about this it was jiren uh ultra blue kaioken goku then it was the androids then it was the anniversary and then that, we just got trunks and that's it there, there haven't been that many characters released since this guy came out uh february so literally six months ago was when he came out literally to the day almost six months ago he's already getting a unique equipment to this level because he simply can't like he, the reason they specifically made this equipment super defensive because of the fact that he just can't take a hit and the reason is because this is just way too low. You cannot be an effective character in this game with only 40% reduced damage received unless you're doing something fantastic with the rest of your kit. So that just goes to, I think this is a perfect example to prove the point that I've been talking about for the past like month or two, right? Which is that the, the, the best units in this game are just so far and away better than like everything else that a character that came out six months ago has to get a buff like this to be able to even have a shot at surviving <laughs> that is keep in mind this guy has endurance if the enemy rushes you at all this guy gains endurance which i think actually doesn't matter as much because a lot of characters these days um well the main one obviously being the uh, tag androids don't care about endurance but you know <sighs> This is pretty ridiculous that he's getting all these buffs right now. 70% <laughs> to base defenses, both strike and blast. All right, slot three. Um, yeah, so it's either fifth, it's either 5% damage, 10% damage, or 25% damage. And then you're also getting a 30% heal, which is going to get amplified by your health restoration in slot one. 
and another 15% to damage when an enemy activates Rising Rush cannot be canceled. So he's basically, if okay, <laughs> so if you get this, this best roll in slot three and the enemy rushes, you're picking up an extra 40% damage inflicted. Let me just put this into context here. Let me let me actually just zoom out a little bit. Let me pull up our good friend. Actually, I want to go to the uh, equipment screen here. Where's the Super Saiyan 4 Gogeta and Cell equipment? So there's the Cell one. Here's the Gogeta one. So for context, this Cell equipment that Cell got, you know, I don't know how long ago was this, like four months ago or something at this point. This gives Cell an extra 20% damage. You guys know how good this character is, and you guys know how much of a buff this gave Cell. Just this alone. Gogeta. This uh, equipment gives him 35% damage and all these base stats. Now, the one difference between this equipment and the Jiren one is that this Jiren one doesn't give him any base offensive stats, right? But he's getting 40%. I mean, assuming the enemy rushes, which they pretty much have to. He's getting 40% damage from this final slot here, you know, once the enemy rushes. Gogeta on his equipment is getting 35%, but then he's also getting the additional base stats. I think when you obviously consider these base stats, Goji is probably going to be getting a bit more damage than Jiren is from his equipment here. But, uh, dude, this Jiren equipment... Is this, is this the best equipment in the game? Like, it might be. Let me Hold on, let me see cells. Defense, defense, key, critical. This is pretty much worthless. Key recovery is okay. Uh, strike, blast, like the damage, health restoration, uh, health... It's close, dude. I I might have to give Jiren the <laughs> the best equipment uh, title here. Seventy percent to both to both um, base defenses, health restoration, fifteen percent HP. Yeah, this is pretty. This is a pretty massive buff. People are gonna get upset about what I'm about to say here, um, but this is what I think. I think with how absolutely dominant of a grasp Ultra Vegito has in the meta, even with this equipment, I don't really see Jiren doing that much, <laughs> to be honest with you guys. I think because of how omnipresent Vegito is too, like I, I literally run into Vegito. I want to say 96 out of 100 matches, I'll fight Ultra Vegito, right? And I'm hoping that Oh, I'm not even hoping. I, I, it's, it's obvious that Jiren's going to be able to tank a lot better with, you know, the huge defensive increases he's getting from his equipment. But I don't know if he'll be able to tank uh, well enough against Ultra Super Vegito. Spoiler alert, he's not going to be. Even with all this, even if 14 stars, full defensive equipment with this equipped and like an HP bench, he will. St I'm telling you, I'm telling you. He will still get incinerated by Ultra Vegito. But Ultra Vegito aside, I'm hoping this guy will be able to do some some good work, right? I don't really want to automatically write him off because, oh, he's, you know, purple loses to yellow. Uh, that, that's, that's, that's obvious. I don't, I don't really want to write him off because of that uh, disadvantage. Um, but, you know, I think against, like, neutral typing or... I guess green characters, like how many green characters are irrelevant right now? Because obviously he'll have type advantage over them. Uh, Trunks just came out is, uh, I, I'm going to be honest with you guys, I've seen like four. <laughs> I, I grinded a lot the past few days to get God rank. I probably, I probably queued up into like 60 or so fights. I've probably saw like three or four people use this Trunks. Nobody's using them. <laughs> Uh, Dragon Fist Goku, I see quite often. I want to say like, uh, I don't know, like 40 to 50% of my matches are against Dragon Fist Goku. So he's probably the biggest and most prominent uh, green character in the meta right now. Super Saiyan 4 Goji I almost never see anymore. Golden Frieza, I see like maybe 15% of the time. I think I ran into him like eight or nine times in, uh, my, in my experience in the past few days. That's pretty much it though. Like what other green characters are you fighting? That's it. You're not fighting Goku Black and Zamasu, I like never see them ever. Maybe I fought them like once or something past like a few days here. And that's, oh, Green Vegeta. He's the other one, yeah. I, I admittedly don't see this guy as much, um, but he's still a very powerful character. And I think obviously Jiren will be able to do really well against him. But that I think is it. Uh, those two characters, so the uh, Zenkai LF Green Vegeta, and then um, 
Dragon Fist Goku with the occasional Golden Freeze I've thrown in there as well. Uh, those are the big green characters that you're really going to be targeting with Jiren. Unless all of a sudden this Trunks becomes a lot more popular because I just I just don't see him. That, that's just the reality of the situation. I just don't see this Trunks ever used. Um, but yeah, I, I think Jiren's going to look a lot better with this. The question is, can he even take like three hits from Vegito? I'm hope I'm, I hope so. <laughs> I hope so. Uh, but yeah, let me know down below what you guys think of this Jiren Indie equipment. I think probably the highlight of this update, to be honest with you guys. Obviously, besides the, the battle system, which we'll check out. But um, when it comes to like Zankai's, like for example, this future Gohan Zankai, he's cool. But I think their, their focus recently has just been making these Zankai characters good for the bench. Um, while, you know, sort of not really being super viable for competitive PvP, which I think is what their philosophy is here, which is whatever, it's fine. So anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed the video, and I will see you all in the next one.